now that the dust has settled on the recent U.S. elections, what does this mean for us who are non-Americans? Unless you have close relatives working in the States, or you are working for or closely with an American company, it seems that all of this will not have a profound impact on our day-to-day -day lives. But what if there is a way to directly profit from the United States from the comfort of our own home? Stay tuned until the end to find out how much you can actually profit from this. I'm sure I wouldn't be the first one to tell you about investing in stocks. Don't worry, I'm not an insurance agent, nor am I a banker. Well, at least not anymore. I wanted to share something with you that I've been doing the past three years and I've been investing in the US stock market even as I'm here in the Philippines. Why invest in the US stock market and why not just keep investing in the local Philippine market? Well, to put it simply for me, investing in the stock market means that I'm investing in something that I have very little control over in terms of performance or outcome. Having this in mind, what I'm looking for would be first an environment wherein a company or a market or an industry can continue to grow. And of course, that market would be relatively stable and can be primed for growth. And to even put more simply, where is there a bigger market? Is it here in the Philippines or is it in the United States? When you strip away factors on stock prices, the ups and downs, the products, or even the actual revenues, what you're actually investing on would be the systems and the structures of the entity and the market. And for me, the US economy is I think where there is most stability and that needed scale for growth that I think is most attractive when it comes to investing in the stock market. This isn't a political piece, so it doesn't matter which president or political party is in place. I think the US will continue this growth trajectory that they've been having in the past decades because this is exactly what they built for. And the question is, why wouldn't you bet on that? And just to be clear also, I have no problems about investing in the local Philippine market. In fact, I'm quite heavily invested in the local stock market. But for me, if you could find other areas to bet on and other markets and other companies to do this with, then why not invest in the US stock market? Now that you might be considering investing in the US stock market, there are generally two ways that you can do this. Number one is by investing in individual stocks. And second is by investing in an index fund. As for myself, I'm doing the latter where I am invested in an index fund that is following the S&P 500. The S&P 500 tracks the US economy's top 500 corporations composed of Facebook, Amazon, Visa, Apple, Google, and so on and so forth. The performance of the S&P 500 is actually indicative of the U.S. economy as a whole. So as this index is representative of the U.S. market altogether, you can be assured that the U.S. economy is always watching this and making sure that it is setting the benchmark for growth. While you might say, hey, you can just invest in Facebook or Apple by themselves. Yes, that might actually give you greater and quicker returns, but by investing in the whole index, you are diversifying and spreading your risk. And also, since we're all the way back here, thousands of kilometers away from the U.S., I think we're less attuned to what's going on with the U.S. market and the government. And these individual stocks would actually be great if you could trade them, you have a good pulse of what's going on, but if you were just to park your funds and wait for it to grow over a longer period of time, then I would suggest going with the index fund. Historically, the S&P 500 has been on the rise in the last few decades. And just to step back a little, if you invested in an index fund that was tracking the S&P 500 just five years ago in 2015, your returns would be at 76%, meaning if you invested 10,000 pesos at that time, your 10,000 pesos would already be 17,600 pesos right now. So now let's proceed with the next steps on how you can invest in the US stock market. If you go with option number one, you can invest in individual stocks through online brokerages. 
my take on these online brokerages though would be that they're a little harder to understand in terms of usability and their fees. I would think that these platforms are made for intermediate users rather than the average novice user. I myself find it very hard. I think I would be more still on the beginner side of the equation. Also, these online brokerages have different types of fees involved. So you really have to read the fine print. There are withdrawal fees, inactivity fees, and you're also investing through a high foreign exchange. I'm not discouraging you from that type of investment, but I'm just saying it is a little harder to study and a, a little harder to understand if you wish to go that route. What I'm doing myself is investing through local banks. Unfortunately for local banks, there is no option to buy individual stocks. So you are investing through the index funds that I earlier mentioned. Personally, what I've seen around is that BPI, BDO, and Security Bank do offer this product. I myself have gone with BPI. Before, I actually had to change my money into dollars. So I had to buy into the foreign currency and open a dollar account before I could open this US equity index fund. Now BPI has put out a product that you can already directly invest in the US equity index fund without having to change your peso. So I think that's really convenient. This isn't the paid advertising by BPI, I'm just going from my own experience. I hope BPI was actually paying me for this, but they're not. And by coursing your investment through these local banks, they charge you 0.7% to 1% per annum. I think that may still sound pretty high, but for me at least, I understand it. It's straightforward. I won't have a side-to-side -side comparison of the offers of the local banks, but if you find this interesting, let me know so that I can make a side-by-side -side review. Anyway, the minimum investment to go into this is usually $1,000 or 50,000 pesos. And for your appreciation, when I put in my $1,000 in April 2017, the per unit per share value of the fund that I bought into was $125. And since then, in the three years that I've been there, the per unit share has actually gone up to over $190. So this is a 51.5% increase. So that $1,000 now equals to about $1,500. And for comparison, if you put your money in the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, your $1,000 from April 2017 would now yield to only $940. So that's a loss of $60. Um, so that's a spread of losing $60 or gaining $500. So these are the types of spreads that we're really looking at. These are the realities why you should hedge and have some investment in the US stock market. Okay, so that's basically it. I just wanted to give you that option, that comparison that you can invest in the US stock market and, and you don't have to know too much. You can invest in the index fund. I won't go into too much detail for this video, but if you have any more questions or you or you think that there are other things to consider, let me know in the comments below so that I could look to answer them and we could look for more experts and on trying to invest your money. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so that YouTube can recommend similar content from me or others. Thanks guys, and I'll see you again next time.